Hello everybody, this is Reverend Rose, and welcome to my channel. I know I've been promising you videos about showing you my altar in my house and things like that, and my daughter even suggested that I do a bookshelf video and show you guys what kinds of books that I have. Um, but today we're going to do something a little tiny bit different. I'm coming to you live from my new Samsung Galaxy tablet, so it probably shows every wrinkle on my face, but oh well, you'll have that. I'm getting old. So, anyway, we're going to go on a walk today, and uh, my daughter, Kara, cute witch, 772, is going to be going with me, and I think we're looking for red clover. I'm not exactly sure. So, stay tuned. We'll be back with you real soon. And, wow, gee, guess what? I come outside, and it's starting to sprinkle. Well, while I'm waiting for Kara to come out the door, um, yeah, you can probably grab an umbrella. I'm going to show you something that my husband's been working on, and this is my fountain. I don't know if you can see it or not, but that is like the newest addition to my front yard, and he's going to build one in the backyard for me too, so be back with you soon. And off we go. Okay, so I'm not exactly sure Why where we're going. On? I think we're going down to the lake. Why is there a light on? It's supposed to be a light on. Get away Why? from my camera. <laughs> I thought it was like a flashlight for when it's dark. No, it's not. It's, it just shows that the camera's on. So anyway, we're walking down the street. We'll, we'll start videotaping again when we get to the lake. You're not going to see a whole lot of me because, you know, I feel like I look terrible with wrinkles and so on and so forth but anyway you'll hear my voice so here we go top of glastonbury tour with my video camera I'm just and gonna, recorded in the pouring just going to show you our road a little bit as we walk down the road i actually think that we live in quite a lovely street it's just pretty i love the woods as i spin around in circles and make you dizzy okay like, is that safe to eat? And I'm like, yeah, look. So y'all do it first. Hello. <laughs> you didn't tell me you were going to do that. All right. Kara just brought something to my attention that I thought maybe you guys might like to see if you don't know what it is. This is what we call, if I can stop shaking, this is what we call Indian gum. Here, I'll hold it. And what it actually is is a wild grape bush. But back in the days of the Indians, they would actually chew this. It's very sour, but it was like in place of chewing gum. It's like liquidy on the inside. <laughs> it's kind of bitter. Yeah, it's very liquidy and juicy. And it's just kind of a little refreshing thing. I wouldn't swallow it, though. So anyway, Car, get a little close-up of that. It is very close-up. This thing is really zoomed. I know. <laughs> That's why I don't want my face shown. All my wrinkles That's are sticking out. That's so funny. Out. This is the first time I've... So, this, so we actually it. do have a little even, we're not even in the woods in our neighborhood, but here, can you see that? This yeah, is the part that you really, would eat. If you wanted to chew on it, that's what it looks like. The red. Okay. So, oh, it's really close. <laughs> okay, real quick, because my battery's going to die again. This is our willow tree here, and that got knocked down by a storm. And look at, that is awesome, because it's like still alive. Isn't that great? So, this is the tree that we actually take some of our willow branches from and um, willow bark, which I have available, which I'll be putting some on Etsy. And, you know, we leave offering stones and blessings, and um, Kara's checking on one of her offering stones right now. Um, a squirrel it. probably took off with it because they taste good, too. Well, okay. Okay, I'll give you a little, little close-up of the tree. Um, by the way, I do make dream catchers out of um, willow tree branches, too. So hopefully soon I will get one of those done, and um, I'll be putting it on Etsy. I also make them out of pine branches as well. All right, so now that we showed you the lake, we passed all the red clover along the way. Now we're on our way back home, and Kara is going to get herself some red clover because it is starting to sprinkle. And when we're done with this, later on, I'm going to take you in my backyard, and I'm going to show you some of my mint and lemon balm, and um, I think I have sweet, uh, what do I have back there? Sweet woodruff, yeah. which is also a magical herb if you look it up. Pretty much okay. everything is, like Let's, even buttercup right here. Yeah. But I'm not going to use that, 
So I have a big butter cup in my magic garden. And I call it the magic garden. The oh. offering stone. That's Kara's offering stone. Put that there. Whenever she takes anything from the earth, we always leave something in return. Take my flowers. You can make those really easy. Crazy Boy TX on YouTube gave me the recipe. There you go. Crazy Boy TX on YouTube yep. has the recipe for making you can link it. offering stones. No, you can link it. I'm not that good with this thing. Okay, I think I'm done. All right, we'll be back with you in a little bit. I'd like to know what kind of Okay, I'm going to show you something. Um, I don't know if you guys know this or not. There's a little tidbit here. If you're walking in the woods or the wild or whatever and you come across like little berries like that and you really just want to be tempted to take one, don't. <laughs> if they're not eaten by birds or insects, they are nine times out of ten poisonous. But they're very pretty to look at. Okay. Thanks so much. Be very quiet. She doesn't know I'm taping. I do. <laughs> okay, just another tip for you. Cara's red clover. Um, her and I were just discussing whether or not it's drinkable, edible. I <laughs> can put it and make tea out of it. Okay. And Kara said that, uh, in looking it up, yes, this is the kind of clover that you can ingest. It has a few warnings with it, like if you're pregnant or on blood thinners, I guess. Yeah. So you're always going to want to check with your doctor before you pick anything in the wild and try to eat it or drink it. Kara's getting this for other reasons, I think. Yeah. But um, also, my theory is always grow your own. It's the safest thing to do. But if you do have to take it from the wild, then make sure you do your research and look it up. Okay. Here we are back home. Again. This is my front yard. My husband's putting a lot into it. And here again is my fountain. Car is going in the house. Uh, we're going to take you out back also and uh, show you some of the herbs that we have there and of course I probably need to weed my garden but oh well bye bye